first snow has come now and it feels a little bit early for being only September. gonna go to the dentist today and I have to be there nine o'clock and it's about 60 kilometers drive so I better get going look it feels so weird that it's already snow <laughs> it's too early all right oh, but it's beautiful <laughs> I got here in time. So what? Where are we going? 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 I'm gonna get something that looks like this because I pressure my teeth together when I sleep at the night like this and that's really bad it damaged my teeth so now I'm gonna get this beautiful thing that I'm gonna sleep with very romantic I just looked up the word in English and they are called mouth guard I'm so happy I have this mouth guard <laughs> because uh, I hadn't been to the dentist for almost 10 years so when I first came to the dentist now in the summer they saw that I had um, damaged my teeth a lot because uh, because I pressure them together when I sleep and if you do that a lot you can get headache and you get really tense in the jaws and everything now I have this <laughs> yeah even though it's gonna feel very weird to sleep with this I'm very happy to have it oh and by the way <laughs> I'm sorry this looks so creepy but I got like a print of my teeth teeth teats yeah my this is my yeah you see what it is i don't know why i just think it looks so creepy but fascinating and i'm not sure if i should show you this but this is like how my mouth look you will never see that more close up than this all right time to drive back home again <laughs> This cost three thousand kroner. That's three hundred and fifty dollars. Three hundred and fifty dollars for this little shit. <laughs> <laughs> you are so jealous. Oh, you get love too. Yes. Nanook, do you want to go for a walk? Oh, Sinak, you old grumpy dog. Come on, Sinak. Oh, yeah. Do you go, wanna go for a walk, you want? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wanna go for a walk? <laughs> yeah. Now we're out. 
with the doggies. We're gonna go to the beach. <laughs> Did you know, guys? I actually thought. <laughs> Hello! Hey, Tage! <laughs> this is my mother's <laughs> uncle. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Vlad! These are the antlers of the moose that Tage has found in the forest. They are so beautiful. So this is my mother's uncle. He lives here in the village. His name is Tage and he's the coolest person in the world. <laughs> Tage, do you want to say something to the world? <laughs> hey Tage! Do you see my new stabilizer? <laughs> so Tage, my... He's my old uncle, my mother's uncle. He swears a lot, as you maybe noticed. But he does it in a loving way. Like, he doesn't swear because he's angry or because he doesn't like you. Like, if you if you wanna say, like, oh, you look good today, he say, men jävlar i mig själv, vad fan har du på dig? And that means like, damn my soul, what the hell are you wearing? And I think, especially old people, that lives here in the middle north of Sweden and maybe other places as well. They they swear a lot in a in a good way. <laughs> like my grandmother, she swore she swore so much. Um oh, I'm, I got a bit tired. Dogs, they are so clean. So this little trail that we walk on now, we actually walk almost every day, at least yeah. during the summer and during the autumn, when it's not too much snow, because we go out with Nano and we actually often start the day by taking a walk here, yeah. down to the lake. <laughs> Do you also like to start the day like taking a walk? Yeah. I mean, Johan is quite shy, so I just start with simple questions to make him getting into this vlog life. <laughs> I should have locked the gates I should have thrown away the key Then I'll be fine with this To be the end for you and me now you pour out of me Cause I've been under your spell I flush it out to see Hey everyone! So I'm in my studio now as you can see and uh, I've just been spending some hours here working answering some emails, editing a video and yeah, just just some normal stuff. And I've also gone through some comments uh, on my last vlog and I don't even know how to thank you enough for the beautiful response that you have given me. I, for the first, I got so many comments on my last video vlog and I'm, uh, I'm just, uh, I'm speechless, I'm speechless. It's just so beautiful and I just want you to know that I'm so deeply thankful for all the love that you give me. I want to answer all of you, but I want you to know that I read every single word that you write to me. It's inspiring me so much. You have no idea. <laughs> I think sometimes that YouTube can be very hard sometimes. You can find a lot of, you know, negative comments and, you know, just a lot, a lot of ne negativity, but there was actually someone writing that to me that wow, this comment section is just so full of love and I, I agree, it's so beautiful I'm so happy that I have so many wonderful followers thank you with all my heart I, this makes this whole vlog journey even more wonderful because I, I have you, <laughs> I have all of you and you're just best, thank you thank you with all my heart cheers on you I have to admit that I'm a little bit nervous now because I just made a post on Facebook where I shared a little video that I made today. It was a video of me painting. It's the last painting I, I've done. It's called Golden Winds and I decided to try to put up my painting on eBay for auction and I never done that before. So in this post I shared that, that it's up for auction on eBay and 
I have been nervous for this for a, <laughs> for a long time because I, I was gonna put up my painting on, on my webshop as I usually do. I don't know, I've just lately felt that it's, it's hard to know because uh, I have a lot of people asking me about paintings nowadays, which is so, so wonderful. <laughs> I'm very thankful for that, that people like my art. And so many people email me and ask if uh, when I've done a new painting I can get back to them. And, uh, and I, I just get so insecure in when I've made a new painting that's up for sale, who do I contact first? And also the hardest part about selling a painting is to put a price tag on. I hate that so much. Well, I guess, I guess a lot of artist souls out there feel the same. So one day I just got the idea that maybe I can just put it up on auction because then I don't decide the price anymore, then someone else does that. And I don't know if that's a good way or not. I have no idea. Oh, it's so nice weather outside. Look at the light outside. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Oh, by the way, if you wonder why I'm in a cage, that's because we actually had this as a dog yard a couple of years ago. Me and Joanne decided to make actually this little house to a, to a dog house. <laughs> but now it's my house <laughs> and we don't really use a dog yard or anything, so... I'm just so shocked. The painting has only been up for 50 minutes and it's already up in $450. If I'm like I'm like shaking now. It's been up for 15 minutes. This is crazy. I'm sorry. I just I uh, I'm I don't know if this is how auctions work that people just bid like crazy in the beginning. But this is not what I expected at all. 15 minutes, 450 dollars. Wow. I mean that's that's a good start, right? <laughs> okay, I think I just gotta get out for a while. I, the sun is really really beautiful outside. I'm a little bit shaky because. <laughs> because this is too exciting kind of so I thought I would just go out to the garden and pick some potatoes <laughs> because my brother is coming soon and we're gonna eat some dinner and I thought we should use our own potatoes and it's time to pick them in because it's getting really cold since the first snow came yeah I think I'm just gonna leave the computer for a while uh, wow okay this feels a bit unreal I have to pick the parsley in now because otherwise it will probably die any night now as the as it's frosty and cold. So I'm just gonna pick everything in and put it in the freezer because then you can take it out and use it even when it's winter. I wanted to grow a lot of parsley because I read that it's super super healthy for you and it's actually very good for the skin because I remember I had really bad skin I always have that in the in the springtime and I thought maybe I should just make have a lot of parsley because you can have it like a face mask I just get green tomatoes and when they finally start to get some color then it gets too cold. <laughs> Look at that! Wow! Look at this big potato I just got up. Though I sliced it with this one. <laughs> but I never got such a huge potato in my whole life. I just love picking up potatoes because it's like a treasure hunt in some way. They are beautiful! I've never ever got these beautiful potatoes, ever. I mean, it's, it's not that much, but it doesn't matter. There's just something about, you know, picking your own food in the garden that makes me feel so rich. It's just, <laughs> I don't know, it just, it just feels so good doing this. I guess this is enough potatoes for a few dinners. And it's gonna taste so good. Now we're gonna go to make dinner with my brother. Johan is gonna stay in the smithy while me and uh, Philip makes dinner because... Uh, I have a lot to do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ah, whoa! Whoa! It's ice on this! Wow, it's gonna be a cold night. Mm -hmm. Whoa, it's so sli slippy. Do you say that? 
Sli slippery. Slippery. <laughs> so slippy. Slide. <laughs> this life. <laughs> this life, yes. Every day me and Joanne says at some moment like, wow, imagine we can actually live our lives like mm. this. Almost every day at yeah, least. Almost. Of course we can have really shitty days sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> like everybody has, but <coughs> most of the days I, I feel very thankful that yeah, we get to live here and do what we love with the one we love. Mm. <laughs> so Juan was just actually gonna... Well, I say actually too much, so I actually have to stop saying that. <laughs> I've noticed that when I edit my films that I, <laughs> okay. I always begin with. Actually, well, Juan was gonna follow to carry the food and some other things. And then he's gonna go back to the smithy and me and Philip is gonna make some food. And then we call you one and say, hey, the food is ready. <laughs> and as you can hear, Sinak, my parents' dog, is back here now since Philip is home. Hey! Oh, it's so yellow here. <laughs> Are you happy to be home again? You have another shoe for us? Say hi to the vlog. Hello, so, this is my brother, Philip. <laughs> Very comfortable being in front of the camera. Yeah, really. So, what are we gonna do now? <laughs> Prepare some dinner. Yay! It's Friday! When I think about the way we used to be When I think about the things you took from me I know that I am so much better Better When I look at what I've done now that we are apart It's uh, pretty late now. We had a really nice evening and now the moon is shining as you can see. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> now me and Joan are gonna go home and Philip is gonna go out with the dog. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> now we're back home again. So this room is like the living room of this house, but this is where we have the smithy. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Hard-working man. <laughs> Have you got a lot done today? It's been, yeah. a, been a good day. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> uh, grinding and polishing these everything here. Oh. All right, you want? I think I'm so tired. Take a shower. Yeah, we take a shower and then we're gonna go to sleep. Rum, 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 rum. <laughs> Guys, everybody, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I love getting older with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs>